the Miami Heat finished last season 44 and 38, number eight in the Eastern Conference. Someone said they bulldozed their way through the Bucks, the Knicks, and the Boston Celtics on their way to the NBA Finals, only to get gentlemen swept by the Denver Nuggets. Yeah. What's next for the Miami Heat? I don't know if they should run it back completely. I do believe that Jimmy Butler should remain, you know, on the on the roster, of course. But I think they need to add another star player to their roster. And unfortunately, Kyle Lowry wasn't it. The unfortunate part of Kyle Lowry is that his health didn't hold up, right? And so that was one of the things that I think stifled uh, their um, pursuit of the championship. Now, were they able to maintain and manage and get through and bulldoze? As I said that, bulldoze yeah. their way straight through. On the playoffs, yes. Who can match the dog that Jimmy Butler has and help them along when Jimmy Butler doesn't really have it? Who who has that, right? I thought it would be Bam, but we found out it just wasn't enough. That just think they need some. Uh, they need another piece to do something, and I think that's what they need. Yeah. Yes, and I think Coach Eric Spolstra is somewhere on the beach with a cigar in his hand, a cocktail nearby, wondering if he should have played Tyler Hero in game five to kind of force a game six. Tyler was healthy. Now, granted, I mean, he averaged 20 points or so. They probably would have gave him at least 10 to 12. I mean, he had been injured, but that's the thing. Talking about health, not only did Lowry's Health not hold up, but Tyler Hero, I mean, he broke his hand when they needed him the most. Yeah. Victor Oladipo. Oh, I forgot about Vic. Yeah. yeah. He was, I mean, tore his knee up early in the season, didn't yeah. get a chance to play. In fact, over the last three seasons, Vic has only been available 54 games. Eek. So when we talk about running it back, nah, they can't run it back like this. I agree with you. They do need another star to pick up to at least compliment Jimmy Moore. You know, I thought it was going to be Bam too, but for me, Bam didn't get going until the NBA Finals, just a little bit. We started to see like, oh, there's a sense of urgency. He's playing with some some force. Would have been nice to have that throughout the entire playoffs. Now, I also think the Miami Heat as a whole, and mainly Jimmy Butler, need to take the season seriously from yeah. game one all yeah. the way through. How are they the number eight seed and make it to the – the NBA finals that tells me they were playing games throughout the regular season in the preseason, probably just, you know, him and then huh? Nah. See, cause I think had they finished the season, maybe top of the East. Yeah. Their path would have been a little bit different, but I just think that whole heat culture would have been, you know, stewed and cooked a little bit more mm. by the time they made it to the NBA finals. You know what? This, NBA playoff run proved to me that heat culture is not enough. It's not going to be. It will not be enough to get you a championship, right? It may be enough to create camaraderie in the locker room. But other than that, if you don't have the complementary skills, and see, this is the thing about it. We're talking about it now, but when the heat was bulldozing their way through the Eastern Conference, right, Gabe Vincent, Caleb Martin, Max Struess, we were singing their praises. Then we get to this level, and it's like, ooh, when you match up against a team, when you are up against a team that you really no match for, and that team really has all the stops, that's when you know that this roster was not constructed enough to go there, right? They may have been able to go deep and, and, and you know, win these, you know, beat these other teams, but they didn't have enough to stop the team. You know, yeah. so what does this roster look like there? How do we how do we get past that? Because here we are again, NBA finals and still out. Did it in the bubble. Now they're doing it here. When will that end? Right. So I just think that there's something else that's needed. And maybe if they create a roster. Dog is necessary. Right. We want people that have that grit, that grind. We need what that. Is, I don't know why. This Miami Heat team, when they came up against the Nuggets, it was like, oh, what? Wait a minute. How they do the how they beat the mother round? How they beat the other team? Because yeah, yeah. they could they were they had no answer for anything that the Nuggets were bringing to them. And although they won one game, that was just because the Nuggets didn't come ready. That was all that was. 
So I, yeah, it's just it was it was a sad. I say, I mean, the Heat accomplished a lot. Don't get me wrong, AC going all the way to the finals, they did that. But now when you're looking at their NBA Finals series, it's like, oh uh, well, maybe we need to kind of retool a bit. And I think that's yeah. probably where they are right now. Wow, Eric exposures on South Beach. I agree. <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. fool's gold, you know, running ah. through, you know. And um, I did, the thing is, they don't have any size. So when you look at their offseason, it's like, okay, we need to get some size here because Bam is only 6'9", right? And his backup, Cody Zeller, is 6'11", but he's not as talented. That's and then right. you got Kevin Love at six foot eight. You know, he's like the old vet of the unit. Speaking of the vets, Udonis Haslam, 20 seasons with the Miami Heat, he's done. So he is really the Heat culture. Without him on the bench, will he be on the bench? I don't know. What happens now? Who's going to carry that torch? That's a good point. That is a good, good, good point. Wow. Because when he leaves, you're right. You're right. He has been there through all – he has been there for 20 years, yeah. 20 seasons. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, yeah. He's taking hook, he culture with him. Eric Spolstra, he better hold on to it. Maybe Jimmy. Mm-mm. Right. Nah. Right, no. Nah. no. You think that Miami Heat should go all in on their undrafted guys, Caleb, Gabe, and Max? Yes. Yes. I think they should. I think they should. And there's some pieces they can probably trade out. And as much, I will say Duncan Robinson is one of them. Yeah. If you need to get somebody else that's going to help you kind of elevate what that core looks like, I would be okay if they shop Duncan Robinson. Oh, yeah. He's making way too much money. Now, granted, Duncan has some pretty good games in the playoffs, in the finals, but when you need him the most. Duncan will yeah. give you a donut. I mean, he he did it multiple times. I'm really also okay if they were to move away from Kyle Lowry. If they need to get a, a, a bigger piece, if it's money related. I'm really okay with that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because Jimmy needs – they need more depth, in other words. Like that second squad. But see, I think we're, we're also looking at this without considering Tyler Hero is a big piece to what they have, and we didn't really get a chance to see him. Right, on offense. Oh, yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> so, yeah, so if Eric Sprosha would have put Tyler Hero in on offense, what he going to do on defense? On defense? Mm-hmm. And the Denver Nuggets said, watch this defense that y'all keep talking about that we don't have. Let me – we're going to bring that out, too. <sighs> yeah, so, again, I get offensive presence. But if you don't have people on the team that can do that defense, i.e. Aaron Gordon, Ooh. you know, who, who, who's that? Who's that person? Who was it? That was- and you can't be small. I kept saying when I was watching that series, they look little. They yes. look so tiny compared to the Denver Nuggets. And mm-hmm. if you're thinking about these other teams and who they'll be going up against in the Eastern Conference for the 2024 season, they're big too, right? So did the zone – and also the zone. Ooh, the zone, the Miami and their zone. <laughs> the Nuggets <laughs> said zone where? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. no. Uh, yeah, it's, it may be time to retool the Miami Heat. Maybe not from a player perspective, but at least from a strategy perspective, from how they played the game. I don't know if that is going to be able to bring move them forward in the future. I just don't know. Yep, because we talked about them, you know, looking kind of stale. We yeah. said that for several seasons. Yeah, yeah. And now we're starting to see the results of that. It can get you through, but it can't get you past. Right. That's the thing. It may get you through. And if, and if getting through and being able to go deep in the playoffs is all they want, that's fine. But they want to hoist a trophy? Nah, it ain't. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Not when other pl- teams are coming in playing uh, chess. You know, that Denver Nuggets run, the, the, the Heat look really bad. <laughs> I mean. They did. They just did not look no as good way. as they should have. I was just like, wow. Mm-hmm. 